What's up guys? This is Chris from DraftDashboard.com. Here are my DFS picks for NBA Wednesday, January 5th. These picks apply for DraftKings and FanDuel. Before I get started, please drop a like on this video and hit that red subscribe button and hit that bell icon so you don't miss our new videos. In this video, I'm gonna go over my top picks for today's NBA slate. And if you stick around to the very end of this video, we'll use the draft dashboard tools to make a DFS lineup using the picks we just made. Okay guys, we have an 11 game slate here tonight. All the picks hit yesterday, so that was a good day. Let's see if we can do it again. Back to back, let's see if we can get all these picks right. It's always super hard to do, but we did it last night, so let's do it again. So at the point guard position, I like Drew Holiday from the Milwaukee Bucks playing the Toronto Raptors, who have a good defense overall, and they've been good versus opposing point guards but Drew Holiday has averaged 38 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 33 minutes per game with a 24% usage rate. He's projected at 39.1 fantasy points here tonight. That's 4.8 times value. He's 8,200 DraftKings salary, 1,200 more on FanDuel, so I prefer that DraftKings price. And Drew Holiday has scored 48, 42, and 52 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 35, 33, and 33 minutes. He also scored 47 fantasy points in his last game versus the Raptors. So I like Drew Holiday here versus the Toronto Raptors. Before I continue with the picks, I'm excited today because we added a new contest for everyone watching. If you want to enter the drawing for $25 PayPal, all you need to do is like this video, hit that subscribe button, and make a quick comment below to be entered into the drawing. We'll reply to a random comment and let you know that you won. And we'll send you $25 PayPal. So it's that easy, and we pick a new winner every Saturday and announce them in our video. So get your comment in now so I can add another entry for you. Okay, let's take a look at the shooting guard position. I like Andrew Wiggins from the Golden State Warriors playing the Dallas Mavericks, who have a good defense overall. They've been good versus opposing shooting guards, but Andrew Wiggins has averaged 30.9 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 31 minutes per game with a 25% usage rate. He's projected at 32.6 fantasy points here tonight, and that's 4.8 times value. He's 6,800 DraftKings salary, 100 more on FanDuel, and Andrew Wiggins has scored 39, 36, and 39 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 34, 38, and 31 minutes. And he's got a pretty good track record here versus the Mavericks. He scored 34, 31, 27, 40, and 37 fantasy points in his last five games versus the Mavericks. So I like Andrew Wiggins here versus the Dallas Mavericks. Now another pick that I like at this position is Tyler Hero from the Miami Heat playing the Portland Trailblazers who have the 8th worst defense overall. They give up the 10th most fantasy points to opposing shooting guards. Tyler Hero has averaged 33.8 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 33 minutes per game with a 30% usage rate. He's projected at 34.4 fantasy points here tonight. That's 5 times value. He's 6,900 DraftKings salary and 400 less on FanDuel. So I like that price on both sites, but especially on FanDuel. And Tyler Hero has scored 30, 34, and 36 fantasy points in his last three games, playing 41, 35, and 37 minutes. So I like Tyler Hero here versus the Portland Trailblazers. Okay, let's take a look at the small forward position. So I like, okay, we've got both these guys are small forward and power forward eligible. 
So I'll just give you this guy for the small forward position. I like Franz Wagner from the Orlando Magic playing the Philadelphia 76ers who have a good defense overall. They give up the ninth most fantasy points to opposing small forwards. Franz Wagner has averaged 28.8 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 32 minutes per game with a 22% usage rate. He's projected at 29.2 fantasy points here tonight, but I think he can score 33 fantasy points or more in this one, get you five times value or more. He's 6,400 DraftKings salary, 400 more on FanDuel. He scored 35, 23, and 25 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 28, 34, and 34 minutes. But I like this pick because he did score 56 fantasy points uh, just four games ago. So he does have that 50 plus fantasy point upside. Now he cooled off for a couple games, then put in a pretty good showing last game for 35 fantasy points. But I also like this pick because Franz Wagner scored 44 fantasy points in his last game versus the 76ers. So I like Franz Wagner here versus the Philadelphia 76ers. Real quick guys, I got great news. For a limited time, we're offering a full 30 day trial to Draft Dashboard. You can try all of our DFS tools for all sports. You can try the position optimizer where you can see the top players ranked for each position. And we added a new player trends tool where you can see the top salary differences between FanDuel and DraftKings. It's a really good tool to help you pick out value for the site that you're playing on. Oh, and if you're tired of doing research every day, we just added a cheat sheet that shows hand-picked plays for the slate. No confusing stat lines, no headaches, just a simple cheat sheet that shows the absolute best players for your lineups. Okay, let's take a look at the power forward position. I like Gordon Hayward from the Charlotte Hornets playing the Detroit Pistons, who have the ninth worst defense overall. They give up the fifth most fantasy points to opposing power forwards. Gordon Hayward has averaged 31.7 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 33 minutes per game with a 21% usage rate. He's projected at 30.6 fantasy points here tonight. That's 4.8 times value. He's 6,400 DraftKings salary, 600 more on FanDuel. Vegas thinks there's gonna be 226.5 points scored in this game. And Gordon Hayward has scored 48, 24, and 31 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 38, 22, and 35 minutes. So I like Gordon Hayward here versus the Detroit Pistons. Now, if you have an extra, let's see, that's an extra 700 DraftKings salary, I think I would prefer Miles Bridges who's averaging 38.6 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 36 minutes per game with a 23% usage rate. So Miles Bridges from the Charlotte Hornets, he's been more consistent than Gordon Hayward, but Gordon Hayward's got good upside, but so does Miles Bridges. He scored 59 fantasy points last game in 41 minutes. So, and he also scored 50, uh, 46 fantasy points in his last game versus the Pistons. So I think it's a coin flip between these two guys. I would just go with whatever your salary allows. So I like Miles Bridges here versus the Detroit Pistons. Okay, moving on to the center position. I'm going to give you a value play here at the center position. This is a high risk, high reward play, but I like that he's been playing a lot of minutes the past couple of games. So I'm hoping that continues here tonight and he gets on a roll. So I like Daniel Tice from the Houston Rockets playing the Washington Wizards, who have a middle of the pack defense overall. They give up the six most fantasy points to opposing centers. He's also available at power forward. Daniel Tice has averaged 18.4 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 23 minutes per game with a 17% usage rate. Now he's projected at 20.1 fantasy points here tonight. That's five times value. He's only 4,000 DraftKings salary and he's 200 less on FanDuel. 
So I like that price on both sites. And I like this pick because Daniel Tice has scored 20 and 17 fantasy points in the last two games. But what I really like is that he played 34 and 27 minutes. So if he's going to play 27 to 34 minutes, I think he can hit value here. And I think he might be a little under-owned for his price tag. So I like Daniel Tice as a value play here versus the Washington Wizards. If you want to try all these daily fantasy tools for yourself, click the link in the description below this video or just go to draftdashboard.com. You can use our DFS lineup optimizer to build quality lineups using our picks and your own custom player pool. Click the link in the description below this video and try all these daily fantasy tools right now. Thanks so much for watching. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit that bell icon so you can get instant updates whenever we post a new video. Thank you so much for watching everyone. If you enjoyed this video, please smickety smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Oh, and please comment below with your favorite player for this NBA slate. I love to hear what you guys have to think. Thanks again and good luck.